Tonight we are looking for an unusually rare Periochnus species, Periochnus hirsutipes. I have never found this scorpion before. Only about 10 or so of them have ever been found, so this may be quite a challenge, but I'm hoping to see at least one. I don't believe that there are any public videos or photos of the species, so these may be the first that the public has ever seen. Not so sure. Giant hairy scorpion, likely a pallid form. Let's see. Yes, it is. One of the largest I've ever seen, but has dirt all over it. The dirt on the tail and the carapace causes the uh, fluorescence not to come through in all the areas on its exoskeleton. Paravehovis confusus in the dunes, trying to sting me. Smooth death feigning beetle, Asbolus lavis. Uh, seems to be smaller than the other species. But I thought they were blue, I'm not sure why this one is black. And there you have it, plain dead. First dune scorpion of the night. I believe I have found the scorpion that I am looking for. Though its identity is largely unknown, this is likely closest related to Periarchnus bergi, Berg sand scorpion. Elephant nosed weevil with a very, very large, appropriately named nose from a creosote bush. Perhaps worth showing this dune scorpion with a telson that is facing backwards. So I wonder if it can actually sting anything or not. Gotta grab a stick. No, it doesn't look like it, but not because it can't sting, just because it doesn't want to. Strange. Praying mantis just flew down right now. Probably attracted to my UV light. One of California's rarest scorpions right here. Periochnus hirsutipes, and this one's an adult. It's not a very large scorpion at all. Although in its group, with Borogoensis and Luteolus and a few others, it's the largest. And when I say that these are the largest in their taxonomic group below the genus, that's because the majority of them look at, like this one right here. These are very speedy. But at the moment, it isn't entirely clear whether this scorpion actually is actually related to um, these other small ones like Borogoensis and Luteolus. They may actually be more closely related to like I said, Periochnus bergi. Another little smooth death vein beetle. You know what I must do. Finally found the more well-known species here that's like established. This is Periochnus xanthus. Doesn't really have a common name. It's endemic to this dune system. Found nowhere else, I think. Hope I'm not wrong on that. And this is the most similar looking uh, scorpion to the dune scorpion, but it is different. The differences are a bit subtle. There's a little death vein beetle back there. And look, there's a little ant attacking it. Try to tail this one. It's being a bit tough. Got it. Look at this. Another Periochnus for pseudopes. This is really cool. I didn't think I would see any tonight. Like. You know, scene two, let alone one, is amazing. And this is a male as opposed to the female I saw. So seeing one female and one uh, male adult is like phenomenal. Really cool species. Not very large either, like the female. Ah, don't run away from me. Do not run. I need you. Don't you do it. Don't you run. Oh, almost stung me. Come here, come here, come here. Gotcha. Nowhere left to run, nowhere left to hide. Asbolus varicosus, blue death feigning beetle. Oh, wasn't really cooperating. I've only seen one male specimen since that uh, female specimen I showed you. And here we go, another female. Quite a sizable one, pretty cool. 
another enormous periscoping here. Not as pallid as the last one. Ooh, very aggressive. Dune Scorpion, which I thought was worth recording, and it seems to be uh, gravid as well. Uh, those babies should come out in the next month or so. White line sphinx, moth caterpillars. And even though it's quite late season since we had monsoons in this part of California, they seem to be munching on the leaves, whatever this green plant is down here. Here's the same scorpion again, and of course this is another male in an unexpected uh, habitat too. Not in the dunes, in the flats. Very strange. More death veining beetles. Well, this is another species, not the smooth or uh, blue death veining beetle. This is the one with borders, I forget the name. I find quite a few of these dead undercover in the winter. Um, I've only ever seen a handful of live ones in my life. I apologize for the caterpillar shit on my hands. Notice this little desert iguana running past me. Must have been born last year or something. And I'm not sure why it's out at night, but of only three I've ever caught, two of them were at night, only one during the day, uh, which was actually flipped. Very weird. Anyway, go off. He was running very fast before. Now it's kind of sluggish. Anyway, I'll leave him alone now. Two dune scorpions here. Oh wait, no, that's a periarchnus. Oops. Dune scorpion right there, an especially large one, and a grasshopper right next to it. Here is the third and probably the final female I'm going to see. Haven't been seeing many of them, so it'll probably end with this one. Hydrus here. I've seen only like a couple small ones tonight, although this is like probably the smallest of the three larger ones I've seen. On what seems to be uh, an endlessly wide road. Like it's long for sure, but this is like, you know, 10 lanes wide even though no one passes out here. Scorpion meeting gone wrong, maybe. Or perhaps not. I think that's a dune scorpion on top. And then the lower one is a periarchnus. There they are. Yeah. Top one's a dune scorpion, bottom one's a periarchnus. Got that wrong the first time. Kangaroo right down here. Went over to the side. There he is. Cute little guy. That will be off this video. So, thank you for watching.